important. <clears throat> so Pope Pius XII in his Apostolic Constitution Sacramentum Ordinis says, quote, if these prayers or practices, if it was at one time necessary, even for validity, by the will and command of the church, everyone knows that the church has the power to change and abrogate what she herself has established, close quote. So you see right there, Mike what determines dropped. whether or not something is faithful to the um, to the matter and form and intention of the sacrament is the church. It's the church that determines that. And the church, of course, this is the approved right of ordination for the church. Because Novus Ordites can't refute us, they often resort to misrepresenting our positions. First of all, the title of the video is misleading. Not only does this video not in any way attack the position that the post-Vatican II claimants to the papacy are non-Catholic anti-popes, it completely ignores it. The subject of the video is the validity of the new mass. While Michael Diamond is correct that the form is defective, they totally left out the part of his video that mentions the primary reason it's invalid, because the man who promulgated it was not a true pope. Can the church change the rites? Absolutely she can. Our argument isn't that she can't, but that she didn't. This video does far from demolish our position, it actually demolishes the recognize and resist position of the SSPX and other resistance groups, whom Brian later said in this video have the best arguments against us. I really recommend true or false Pope. The best arguments against the state of conscious, which totally demolish them, come from SSPX. By the way, they have some nerve bringing Pope Pius XII into the set of Acantist arguments, since his teachings are some of the most powerful in refuting the notion that Francis is the Pope.